Thanks, Liz. That was great guacamole. Are you a guacamole fan? I love it. Love it. I have a big avocado tree in my backyard. Oh, there so. you go. We should so. we should work to your house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Van, I love going into new stadiums. I hope to see all of them before mm -hmm. I leave this earth. What was your favorite stadium that you've ever been to or sports venue? Well, I'm going to say three things. Okay. Everybody badmouths the Coliseum. Oh, in LA, which is a great place. I think to in. watch a game. It's Love one of the it. best because it's yes. a football stadium. It's grand. It's not a Absolutely. converted baseball stadium. No. You go watch a football game. Yes. It's it's a great place to watch a game. Really the area good. is a little shaky, but, but it's okay. But it's as okay. far as the stadium, I think it's a good stadium. It's amazing. Yes. Game. Our home field when I was with Coach, Coach Allen was Soldier Field in Chicago. Oh, love that. Which is a great stadium. Yes. It was kind of, they cut it in half. It was like the Coliseum, but they cut one of the ends in half. Right. To make it smaller and more confining. Yes. So it still held about 70,000 people. But it felt very intimate right. there, yeah. And it was very good. Mm -hmm. But I guess, I think the the one I went to that I was really taken with was Green Bay. Oh, wow. Because it had okay. so much history. And the way Green Bay is, they have a stadium, which is not a lot, all, it's about 60,000. So it looks like a minute, compared to the Coliseum. It looks small, yeah. It looks, it looks like you're walking into a little tiny stadium. A high stadium. school, yeah. <laughs> but they have on one end, they have a big shopping center that's connected to the stadium. They have all their team offices there. They have wow. restaurants. They have the sports shops. Well, it's sort of they like have, little Green Bay City right there, right? right? Yeah. The Green Bay uh, Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. which wow. is a huge complex. So you can you can do your shopping, walk in there, and then you walk. They open up the big doors, and you walk right into oh, the stadium wow. right That's from there. That's exciting. And it's almost like a movie set oh. that you walk into the through the big double doors into the stadium. So as far as my favorite stadiums, Those I was three uh, probably have the, to talk yeah about. right yeah. The other ones, when I was with Coach Allen, a lot of more converted baseball stadiums. Right. Yes. And, and now they're building more towards football. And, and like the, Philadelphia was a converted baseball stadium that. Uh, when it was the vet? When the vet. Mm -hmm. When we played yep. in uh, uh, New York, it was the, the baseball stadium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they all the shared for a while, right. too. So, yeah. Tampa was interesting. That's when they had the sombrero. Yes, that's right. <laughs> they have a new stadium now, too. But it was literally looked like a big Mexican sombrero. It, it was And, you know, all, I think the old stadiums have so much more charm. They and they had all the cool names, you know, Jack Murphy and just all right. of them. And it was just neat. Candlestick Park, of course, in San Francisco. Right. And, but Jack Murphy was built for baseball, too. Yeah, it was. It was a combined stadium. Yeah, that was It's dope. a great place to watch a game in a great area. It was fun. But as a pure football stadium, I say Chicago, Green yes. Bay, and the Coliseum. Yeah, Nobody well, wants to hear about the Coliseum being a the, great football stadium. But it is. But to watch a game. It's amazing. It's, it's pretty hard to beat. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. hard to beat. And, of course, the first time I went to Texas Stadium, just because I'm a Cowboy fan, that was right. very exciting for me. And, of course, they're opening up the new one. So we'll see what that's like I haven't next seen. Year. I haven't seen. I saw the old one. Yeah. And, uh, with a big hole in the roof so that God could look in. The I one in that Houston. Was the, I was, I was the Astrodome <laughs> yes. in Houston, but and I was there, but I haven't been to the new one. Uh, you know what, Reliant I, Stadium. And that's a, looks like a real nice stadium, But you too. know what? I'm really, really fonder of outdoor stadiums for football. Right. Football's an outside game. None of this inside but, stuff. Well, I understand, but it's hard <laughs> when you see a player coming off the field with a sweat and they got icicles hanging from, I love their, that. from their eyebrow. I love that. You may love it, but they don't <laughs> they probably really don't. like <laughs> Fans in Green Bay, they're right. hardcore. Right, Chicago is the same way. Exactly. It gets just as cold there. Love that. Believe me, in the winter. So, yeah. <laughs> but, but I think those three stadiums are, are good football stadiums. Yeah, very good. Now, right. you know, the girls' PV High basketball team recently got to play at the Staples Center, right. of course, with all the great basketball stars that have played there. Let's catch up with them and find out what that experience was like. Tell us what it's like to come here and play at the Staples Center. It's amazing. Right when we walked on the court, it was just like so big and it was just crazy. I can't even believe it. Have you ever come here for a game? Uh, yeah, all the time. Oh, Laker Clipper fan? Yeah, Lakers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's it like to know that you're kind of walking on the same court that Kobe Bryant plays? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. And like going in the locker room, knowing that all these professionals have been in there, it's just, it's crazy. I thought it was really exciting. I had a lot of adrenaline going through me. Like, I just got really excited at the beginning. Um, it's exciting. It's like, you know, it's one in a lifetime thing. Either of you girls been here for games? Yes, I've watched a lot of Sparks games here before. Okay. Yeah. I've watched Sparks games, Laker games, yeah, stuff like that. And LA teams, are you Clipper fans, Laker fans? I'm um, definitely Lakers. Yeah. Lakers and Sparks all the way. Yeah. <laughs> How many girls get the opportunity to play, high school girls get the opportunity to play in a place where NBA players play. I mean, it's it's amazing. I mean, I love the Lakers, I love the Clippers, I, I love everyone, so I love coming here. What's it like? I know you've been in the locker rooms too. I mean, just being here, does it make you feel like you're kind of at another level? It definitely does. I mean, it's just surreal. I mean, we're in the visiting team's locker room. 
an NBA team is going to be using the soccer tonight. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, an, it's amazing. Now, I know that you especially have been in other venues, in the Forum and a few other places, so you, you sort of are like the veteran and you know more, more than the other girls probably do. I mean, like. I'm so blessed because this is my third time playing here. I mean, people don't even get to play here once and I get to, I mean, I'm, I'm spoiled almost. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of my teammates played last year, but a lot of them haven't even played here ever. So I just, I think we did a good job of keeping our heads straight and keeping focused on the game. But I mean, I think we're all excited to play here as well. Is this something that you want to do in college as well? Definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm looking to play on the East Coast somewhere, maybe a Division three school where I can just balance college and basketball. So I definitely want to take it to the next level. You know, when I watch girls play, it seems that girls always play harder than guys. And it's just interesting because you wouldn't think that, but you come out to a Sparks game and you just watch women play and it's more accurate and so much harder. Well, sorry to all the guys watching this, but when you watch guys basketball, it's so much one-on-one -on -one stuff and women's basketball is so much more a team and so many coaches have told me I love coaching girls way better than guys. And again, I'm sorry, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we, it's a team sport for us and for, and that's what makes it so fun to watch because it's like assist after assist and it's not just the same person taking, taking the ball every time, so. The accuracy with free throws is amazing. Oh, <laughs> well, I think girls practice harder and they, because guys just have a big head and they think, okay, well, okay, I'm going to stop now. I mean, this is like, this is bad, but yeah. Thank you so much. And finally, our last guest started her career as a Philadelphia Eagle cheerleader. Now she's one of our Clipper girls. Adam Brooks brings us up close and personal with Ashley. So I have the privilege of being here with uh, Ashley from Clipper Spirit. Ashley, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Excellent. Um, so you came from Washington, D.C., I understand. And, and so what was your uh, first in, uh, involvement with dance? My first involvement with dance was when I was three years old. I started dancing when I was three, um, and then I've just continued since then. Um, I went to college for dance at the University of the Arts, where I was a jazz dance major, and I cheered for the Eagles, and then I came out here. Awesome. So cheering for the Eagles, how was it? How was the Super Bowl in 2005? I know. It was so great. It was the best experience. Um, it was just it was fun to be out on the field and all that excitement and everything, and it was just great dancing with them. It's a great organization. So they came close this weekend. Uh, how did you feel about the game yesterday? I was bummed. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the end of the game because we had practice, but I saw the whole beginning, and I was I didn't even know they were going to make it because they were like so behind, but they got they caught back up. So I was surprised, and I just I wanted them to get it, but unfortunately they didn't. But it's okay. They worked really hard though, so I was proud. Uh, it was a good game, but uh, so how did you came out to LA and how does uh, doing cheer for uh, for the Clippers for basketball compare to football? Um, it's different, I would say, because we only have ten games in football and we we have forty games in basketball. But also, you know, it's just a different environment, different scene because we're outside with NFL and we're inside on the court. We can dance more a little bit on the court, but 